a tree is a woody perennial plant, typically having a single stem or, or trunk growing to a considerable height and bearing lateral branches at some distance from the ground. The first trees were ferns, horsetails and lycophytes, which grew in forests in the Carboniferous period. Hastings Museum and Art Gallery has fossils of some of these in its collection. Recently, the oldest known fossil forests were discovered in Minehead, Somerset, close to Butlin's holiday camp. It dates back to the Devonian period, between 419 and 358 million years ago. There are two types, there's the evergreen, which they keep their leaves all year round, and there's deciduous trees, which um, they let their leaves fall off in the winter and in autumn. Um, the, uh, one of the oldest type of trees is um, a, a deciduous tree called the ginkgo, ginkgo, and you can find one in Alexander Park in Hastings. You can find um, some of the oldest trees in a um, in a fossil forest in Hastings, and they are 140 million years old. And that there's rings in a tree trunk. Um, it proves that there were seasons back in uh, prehistoric times. D on the th um, it depends on on how thick the um, like the rings are in the tree trunk. That shows um, how cold or hot that's the, the summer was of that year. Most of them would have been evergreen pine trees, like the ones you can see outside the museum. This is the fossilized pine cone from those trees that grew alongside dinosaurs and provided food for many of them. All trees originated from plants and all plants actually did was evolve into being a tree. Um, convergent um, evolution is when um, something like evolved on its own. Independently evolved into what we would call trees. All trees are plants but not all trees are descended from a single tree ancestor. This is called convergent evolution. In plants native to the Canary Islands, trees evolved independently at least 38 times. There's even a type of dandelion that evolved from a small flower into a tree. Trees are also very important to biodiversity. They support whole ecosystems. They could be food, shelter or even like provide us with oxygen. We must take care of trees and allow more to grow.